reach the ancient Sumatra, the symbol of her Quan dominance. Your presence here is further violation of the slave laws, which your species have already violated so flagrantly. We cannot tolerate such insubordination. Your species' penalty shall be... Annihilation. Okay guys, here we go. The first six Zircon, we're going to take them down, we're going to take them down. Okay, let's go with the Shemur. Okay, Lord89, you're going down. Okay, let's Shemur. Okay, they're a little bit slower than I thought. Oh god, he got a lot of hits on me straight away. Oh, Jesus, not good. Okay, I'm taking him down. Oh my god, it's a draw, straight away. Okay, Shemur, they're a little bit slow. Okay, there we go. One, ne one, one all. They've only got six ships, though. We've got twelve. So I guess that was sort of a win for us, in a way, but also not really. Okay, Death41. Okay, hopefully Kazurs and can do a little bit better. Okay, I need to get used to these Shimmer, they're very sluggish. I played with them once back against Weather. But okay, I forgot how slow they are. Okay, well there we go, there's two down. That was pretty good. Okay, come on, let's go. Still got the two satellites. Satellites are so useful. I mean, if they've only got a tiny bit of health left and they just drive past you, they could you could finish them off with those satellites. We've also got that gravity the gravity pull, which is good. Okay, right, let's see. Can we get in? We've got to make sure we dodge all his bullets. Okay, we, we sort of half did that. We also got a massive hit on him. Look at that. Oh, he's down. Look at that. that. was quick. That was really good. Okay, there we go. There's three down. We're already halfway through. We've only lost one ship. Oh my god, the Urquan. They don't know what's hit them. They can't do anything about it. The Dinyari, first of all, just sending all their ships away. Now we've got this last six. Come on. We can do this. Okay, right. Let's just try and get a better angle. As I said, they're really slow, so it's quite difficult to control. Oh, that wasn't very good. That was annoying. Oh, this stupid asteroid. Okay, let's go around. Let's get up front. Oh, no. That's a shame. Because um, died. Oh, come on. Death 17. Oh, my God. Death 17. He's back from the dead. Snellope killed him all those, all those episodes ago. What the hell? How's he back here? I don't understand. Okay, right. Let's just take him down with his footwig. Oh, we've already taken a little bit of damage. Okay, come on. Oh, look at that fire. Look at that quick fire. And the burn. They can't do anything about it. He's going to die. Look at this. He's going down. Yes, look at that. Utwig. What a great weapon and shield they have. Four down. Two more to go. Okay, Lord 21. He's coming up on me. He's, he's, trying, to, he's trying to get a good angle. Oh, look, he's firing a stupid little mini. He's firing mini things at me. Okay, right. Let's try and get up. Let's try and get him in close to him. Dodges, dodges fusion bolts. Defend himself from that. Oh, I think we need to defend ourselves here. Look. Okay. He's still firing these many things. Does he really think that he's going to be able to beat me by just firing those those things at me? Okay, we're at perfect range now. Look, he can't even hit me. Yes, there we go. Okay, hit me once, but we t we killed him. Down goes his 42 crew. One more to go. One more to go. Can we do this? Come on, let's go. Keep defending. Defending all these. Come on, come on. Okay, we're so close. Oh, come on. Don't die now. Don't die now. Oh, damn it. I hit a planet. I hit a planet. No. Oh, no. Oh, that's so close. One crew left. Oh, come on. Right, let's take that as the last crew. I bet you I'm going to take so much damage now because I won't be able to just kill him. Shamur take a while to just get into good position. He needs to sort of drive away and then come. Oh, no. I hit a planet. Come on. They're so quite sluggish to turn. They've got too much. They've got too much like weight. They accelerate. They have too much momentum. Come on, let's just get this one guy down. Come on. Yes. There we go. Okay, we take them all down. That is awesome. Okay, let's take down the Sarmatra now. It's time. Greetings, what the hell? Friend. Why are they here? Well, you're about to be attacking a Sarmatra and probably don't like being interrupted, but we have important news. The rebellion is won. We are victorious. We have pulled the Veep Neep Harpy Queen and her cronies from the high perch. And better yet, we have found a new queen. A queen who will unite the clans in peace and harmony as never before. You will never guess who it is, Captain. A big gunk. Yes, it is true. They survived their absorption into our culture and are now providing us with insights into ourselves we never dreamed of. 
We only thought we were being happy birds of prey. We were fooling ourselves. Our new queen's name is Breaky Gardy the First, and her first command was to rush here and bring you these ships, Yehat Terminators and Pagunk Furies. No, Captain, together we can attack the Samatra. Oh my god, it looks like we have some more Yehat ships and a Pagunk ship as well. Oh my word, okay, that looks pretty massive. Okay. Okay, human. You made it past Sumatra's guards. Now you can attack the vessel itself. So listen closely. The Sumatra is protected by a thick shell of used asteroids, reinforced with a weak stasis field. You'll never break through that. The only opening through the asteroid shield is covered with a powerful force screen. One touch of that screen, you're history, Captain. To destroy the Sumatra, you'll have to destroy the shield generators embedded in the asteroid shell. To drop the force screen, you'll have to destroy all eight of them. When the screen is down, bring in your flagship, move into the asteroid shell, and then press the big red button on your controls. That starts the detonation sequence. Your escape pod will eject automatically. Just hope you're far enough away before that ship blows. Okay, human, this is it. The last battle, your final moment of triumph. Don't screw up. In case you're wondering, I'm not going with you, Captain. I'm staying on board. Why, you ask? Because I'm locked in here, idiot! Get me out! Help! Help! Ha <laughs> ha! You're not going anywhere, my friend. You are going to die along with Sumatra because, I mean, I can't trust you. Okay, here we go, Sumatra! Okay, we don't know how... Doesn't you have to crew? Okay, I guess we just have to blow it up. I don't, it doesn't really matter how much crew... Oh my god, that does a lot of damage. Okay, so we have to destroy these little things like the Dinyari says. It has been helpful, the Dinyari, but I'm afraid he's going to have to die. Okay. So we've got these little gems chasing me. Okay, there here comes the fireball again. That does so much damage. Okay, we need to destroy this a lot quicker. Oh jeez, those things punch you away. The problem is that they punch you away and then that fireball comes after you. The toxic sludge thing erodes away your ship. This thing has like, seems to be coming out of that weird thing in the middle, like all the weapons. Come on, come on, come on. We can do this. Destroy it. Okay, we took down one. We took down one. Oh, okay, right. There we go. There's, there's the first one down. We have a lot more ships. We need to get Fwifo as well. As well. We want to make sure we save Fwifo. That is going to be a very important part of this game, is to save Fwifo. Okay, let's take this down. Oh, jeez. I accidentally pressed escape. Oh, no. Damn it. Okay, well, at least I took one down. Okay. Let's go. Let's go in again. This ship is so massive. Well, I don't understand why they put this massive asteroid around there. It doesn't seem to be actually... I wonder if they Urquan put that around there. It doesn't seem very precursor-like to just sort of put a massive shield of rock around it. And you sort of bounce off it as well. But the shield's doing really well. Like I'm shielding all of these fireballs. Oh jeez, that five miles away. Come on. Oh jeez. Oh no. Oh, that's so annoying because the shield doesn't last for very long. And there's three chasing after me. Okay. Oh wait, these might be good because I can completely shield those and get an absolute ton of energy. Look how much energy I got there. Oh, I'm getting absolutely tons of energy. Oh, jeez. Okay, that wasn't very good. They do so much damage so quickly, those things. Okay, right. I'm shielding too much. That's the problem. I don't have the time to actually attack. Okay, let's... Oh, there we go. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's attack now. Oh, my God. Come on. I need five more to destroy. Come on, Owen. Come on. Okay, right, let's get them down. Oh, let's not crash into that as well. That would be quite bad to crash into. Oh, they're just hitting us away all the time. It's so frustrating. But at least we're getting pretty much infinite battery here, which is really good. And I'm going to be hit away again. Watch this. Look. Oh, my God. I have to just keep flying around so much. I haven't actually destroyed a single one yet. Oh, God. My shield ran out. I might have just accidentally let go by... By accident. Okay, come on, come on. Let's, we need to destroy this thing. We need to actually start doing some damage. Okay, this is going to be the best because we can do some serious damage with our little satellites. Look, okay, there we go. We've got to direct it in there with the Shimmer. That was pretty good. But we also got absolutely annihilated. Okay, come on. <laughs> okay, let's get the Shimmer. I think the Shimmer is going to be the best way to destroy this thing. Okay, direct it again. That was good. That was really good. And it's taking us into that shield thing. Oh, God, that was close. We almost hit the door. Okay, two more to destroy. Come on, we can do this. And it also looks like the satellite's destroying those little things as well. Oh, yes, we've got both of them down. Yes, okay, right, let's get in. Oh, do we need to... 
What do we do now? Do we have to escape? I guess we just have to escape. Okay, right, let's run away. Let's run away. Right, let's get away from here. Let's get... Well, first of all, of course, we need to get Fwifo away. Let's get Fwifo away. He's been so good in this whole game. Fwifo, thank you so much for all you've done. First battle against the Elrath, episode 3. And then just doing nothing for the entire rest of the game. It's time that you get free. Come on, get away, Fwifo. Yes! Fwifo is free. There we are. What a great guy he was. I mean, he was the best character in the entire game. Um, he was brilliant. But now it's time to get back. It's finally time to destroy the Sarmatra. Let's go. Okay, it looks like Swiffo has taken away all of its weapons. It looks like they don't know where, what's going on. Look, there's one more weapon left. Let's go in!
And there we are! We've done it! Urquil Masters, we've completed the game! Oh my word, I can't believe. We've actually gone all this way through 41 episodes. It's brilliant. I can't believe we've actually managed to do it. What a great game. Um, I found Star Control back in uh, January of 2013. I actually saw the Oxcast play it. Um, yeah, that was the first time I ever saw the game. Never heard of the game before. Um, never, never even thought that... I don't think I ever seen it or even heard of anything like this um, or the other two games but I just saw the Oxcast play it I'm quite an avid watch of the Oxcast so I watched them they did it back in January 2013 um, and they played it so um, I watched I watched them play that and they only got through six episodes and I was really getting into it as well they were really good and I thought it was a brilliant game it looked so interesting but they only played for about well probably about just under two hours um, or a little less than that maybe and they didn't get very far and I really wanted to know what happened so you know I decided that I wanted to make a series out of it and it took me a while to make a series because we had a lot of stuff going on we had XR we had FTB we had loads of series going on so I decided to save it up and um, I saved it until August and um, it was just when I was um, going on holiday somewhere um, and I started uploading episode 1, 2 and 3 I think on the same day and then I started uploading Star Control. Got 40 episodes in the space of about, well, what is that? Seven months? <laughs> quite a lot of months for 40 episodes, and they were quite short episodes as well. Um, but it was really good in the end. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm really happy about that. Really Hello good. Oh, again, what the hell? heroic humanoid. Ever since you returned the Ultron to us, everything has been wonderful, just perfect. Within just two days, our factories will begin churning out appropriate facial appliances. And I have already picked out my first mask. The domino of unrivaled merriment. Yes, we are all ecstatic. Even the High Proctor gambles as she performs the exultant caper of revelation. Look how she leaps with the Ultron held high. How she twists. How she twirls. How she slips and, and tosses the Ultron into the air. Oh no! Wow, I cannot believe that. That is, that is quite something. To actually put that in the end of the game, that is, how do they even manage it? Jeez, they're meant to be. I mean, Star Control Three. They sh it shows them to be the most, you know, intellectual race, and they do that. Oh, just for God's sake! What a useless bunch of people. Well, I think that I should start talking about what I think of all the characters in the game. Um, personally, uh, I think I'll go through from the order. I think the Zotfoot Pig. I didn't really see much of them in the game, but I think they were cool. They're pretty funny. They look sort of like the uh, sort of the comedians of the of the game a little bit, the cheesy comedians, um, standard any game really, to be honest. And then you have the Dinyari. We saw the Dinyari like episode 13 or something. Pretty scary, I thought. He was pretty sinister, um, but of course he was pretty much crucial to completing the game. So I like the Dinyari. I liked all the characters in this game. So I'm going to say I like them all. Uh, the Oars. You gotta love the Oars. I mean, they seriously show you how to enjoy the source, and if it wasn't for me enjoying the sauce, then I don't know what I'd do, because uh, I love sauce, I really do. Um, the Utwig, I like the Utwig, they're pretty nice, they're pretty good uh, Good race. They, The thing is, all the races in this game, they're different in different ways, so I think that's really good. And I think the Utwig are sort of the more, they, they have a more mor uh, sort of morals, they're sort of more entwined with morals. Uh, and they're the only sort of character that do that really, um, except for of course the Urquan, but they sort of have it at a different angle, which is good. Uh, so I like that. And then we have the Threadash. Falling a bit behind here, but the Threadash, I thought they were pretty good. We didn't really meet them very much, but they uh, are quite brutal race. Uh, they were pretty cool. I like their song as well. We have the Supox. I didn't see them much at all, but um, again, a unique character, sort of plant life. And then of course the Sirene, very famous character in this game. Everyone loves the Sirene. Um, nothing, nothing much to say about them. Um, and then we have... The, um, the Shofixti, look at him. There he is. Tanaka, or Katana, I don't know which one I'm talking to. But, of course, look at their ships. They, that's just, they're just amazing. They've got these little suicidal ships, which are brilliant. Just a brilliant character all around. Um, quite, a, quite an adamant or naive character, I guess. But, um, again, adds a new dimension to the game. I like them. They're pretty good. Oh, the Pekunk. Now, this is... What a great character this is. I mean, just look at their... 
amazing beaks. That just says everything about them. I mean, you cannot beat the Pekunk when it comes to a unique character. Or maybe, maybe you can. We'll come, we'll come to it later. But I mean, the Pekunk are brilliant. I mean, to come up with that race takes some imagination. Um, and I, I applaud whoever made this uh, because the Pekunk, I mean, their ships are brilliant. Those ships are pretty much the best. I think they're the best against the Sarmatra. Unfortunately, I didn't actually have many of them. And I didn't realize that you got um, some more Yehat and Pekunk ships at the end. So if I let some of my Shimmer or Utwig die, I might have been able to get some more Pekunk ships and make that easier. But in the end, it wasn't too bad. Then you have the Yehat. Um, these were the only race that um, became Battle Thrills from the old alliance. So I guess they're unique in that uh, respect. Um, they, they used to... Um, this is, I'm playing in the beta now, but in the alpha, their, their eyes used to blink constantly, all the time. They don't seem to do that anymore. In fact, they don't seem to really be blinking at all. Um, unless that's just my editing software being a bit weird. Um, so they're either blinking a ton like they did in the alpha, like I, I could see clearly in the alpha, or they're just not blinking at all. Maybe, they, maybe they've maybe they evolved. Oh, there we go, you blinked. But there we are. Um, and I like their ships as well. We have the Druze. The Druze are cool. They were like um, quite a sinister race again. Um, at first, I mean, they just, back in the alpha, again, they didn't look, didn't have that sort of dirty look to them. They sort of looked a lot more sort of clean, but they still, of course, looked a bit um, evil, uh, but not so much in the uh, in the alpha, which I think was good for me because, um, I, of course, I hadn't really seen the Druze before, and I felt that, um, you know, I could maybe trust them when I first met them back in their home world, um, but as soon as um, a little bit of doubt was put into my mind by the Malnorme, and then, of course, they tried to steal the bomb. You just knew that uh, it was all going to go wrong. So, I mean, there we go. There's the Druze. They were good. And here we are. The Urquan. <laughs> Look, they just can't take their defeat. They don't even know what's just happened. Um, I mean, look at him now. He's just trying to find something to talk about. He doesn't have anything to say. Why are you saying such stupid things, Urquan? I mean, you were such a brilliant character, though. <laughs> it's him in the corner. <laughs> That's brilliant. Well, to be fair, the talking pets, I mean, they did a good job. I mean, it was they were pretty crucial to um, actually being able to talk to the Urquan. I mean, they gave a lot of information for us. They did a lot of translating. So I'm very happy for them to uh, for them to be free. Well, they're not really free. They all died along with the Urquan. Um, but uh, at least they were put out of out of their misery in, in one sense of the word. But um, yeah, the Urquan, of course, they're the, the best. They're a really good character. I mean, they've got a brilliant story. That's the great thing about this game. It's got such a great backstory to it, and that really adds to the game. I think that's a really good thing to have. Uh, that, that's why a lot of people like this game is because of the story. The story is just so good, so d deep. Um, so I love that. And their ships are cool as well. The Vox. Oh my God, the Vox. That was that was quite long, quite like sort of the middle of the game. Where we sort of were a bit frantic, didn't really know what we were doing too much, but eventually we found our way. It was sort of when we were sort of we, we had to look for that beast in uh, in uh, what was it Delta Linsis, and we didn't know where it was, so we were just looking around, and we just happened to stumble upon it. I don't know, and I can't even remember how we did that. But the Vox, I mean, they they were they were unique, of course, so that was good. Oh, then the Cora. Now I didn't even know these existed. I thought it was just one Urquan for so much of the game. Um, and then suddenly um, we were told about this other Urquan, and then we didn't we didn't meet them until episode uh, se 17 or 16, where of course Snellope won a famous battle against uh, Death 17 or something. Uh, that won an epic battle. That took about five minutes. That was, I think that was the longest battle. I don't know if it was longer than the Sarmatra battle though, but that was the longest one-on-one -on -one battle definitely. And then finally, I think here the the amazing Aralu. Do you really believe Project Blue Book revealed everything? Do you know what really happened at Roswell, New Mexico in the late 1940s? Have you ever heard about the Men in Black? Do you have any friends who have missing days? Do you sleep with your window unlocked? I don't. Be seeing you. Thank you all for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.